Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ty, and if you're new here, all we talk about here is just fashion. So let's just get right into it. So sorry I haven't uploaded in a while because I mean nobody asked, but I coming down well I, I'm just recovering from a cold, so I and my voice was not like really a good talking voice at that time, so I just you know decided to just wait till I got a little bit better, but still lingering there, but you know, we are gonna move. So um let's just get into it. There's a lot of background noise. <laughs> it's just I don't know, everybody wants to like make noise today. But um let's just get into it. Well today I wanted to go over a few new pieces that I've gotten in recently, just kind of preparing for fall and yeah, just a couple pieces. Hopefully this video won't be too long. Um yeah, so let's just get right into it. Alright, so the first item I have matches box. The contents were in this box. So um, I think I'm going to do a close up of how the box looks just in case it's your first time ordering for matches. Matches is, I believe, based in the UK, I think. Um, so there is, if you're in the United States, there is the risk of getting that international fee charged to your credit card. So just be aware of that. Um, but they have some really good stuff. Sometimes if I can't find it in other like sites where I know it's a little bit more local or domestic, um, I just come here and then sometimes I find it, then I ended up just then I end up just getting it. So yeah. I'm gonna show you what was in that box and I'll probably do like a cutaway of unboxing it. But it was essentially this. I don't know if it's coming across very well on the camera, but it is this Marcus Almeida top, and this is just the most oh, beautiful, lovely corset type peplum top. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, first of all, I saw this on the runway. This was in their fall winter runway, and. I was like, I need it. <laughs> so amazing. And funny enough, it actually comes in a all pink color, like a one a one color. But on matches, they have an exclusive um you know, they have an exclusive product where it has like the tie-dye, which matches with the tie-dye pants that it came with on the runway. Yeah. So I really like this one compared to the all pink one actually, so I thought it was just a little bit more special looking, um, but it is just gorgeous. It has like little kind of ruching on the back and it's very stretchy, so that helps with a little bit of give. Um, and it zips on the side, it zips on the side right there, I don't know if you can tell, but it zips on the side. And yeah. I really like this top. I love the color. It's beautiful. Only problem I have with this is that it runs very, very small. Like this is, I think, a UK 12, and I'm usually a UK. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say very, very small, but it's a. I'm usually a UK 10, but I got a 12, um, and it's still like. I think it's perfect, honestly. My only, my only other problem is if you have big boobs, it's not going to work for you. This thing is for A cups only, <laughs> A and minus only, because honestly, it is very tight on the bust area. There's actually like almost no room for the bust, which I don't like. I don't know why they've constructed it this way and when I come to think of it on the runway it did look like that on the model but I thought hey you know maybe they just constructed it to fit her body shape but yeah I think that was kind of like a missed part for them um, but other than that I love this top so much like with even with it squishing my boobs like I still want to keep it like it's so beautiful like I'll post pictures up of me wearing this because when I tried it on I did um, take some pictures real quick just so that I can see if it's something I like. And honestly, I'm still debating just because of the boob area. I just, 
I don't know but I really I just love it I've just never seen anything like this it's very good quality and I think that this brand is more like a contemporary like luxury brand a lot of celebrities do wear this brand um, and I'll try to put some pictures up of like different things that the celebrities have worn just to get that background um, of you know what the brand usually does um, but I really love this I love 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 this so much I mean it's gorgeous another thing to say is that it's a little bit hard to get in and out of like it's not very seamless to get in and out of um, just because of the way it's constructed but it is possible <laughs> and it's not so bad once you get a size that's better for you so if you want to get this size up for sure um, but other than that like I said I just love this top so much I mean just look at how pretty like that it's just so beautiful and the brand they're really good with sort of constructing kind of denim pieces and they're kind of done in a different way as well too and if you like brands like Y Project or Vetmall like you would like this I think honestly like some of those brands probably this brand has been around for a very long time and one can argue that some of those brands that I mentioned may have gotten some inspiration from this brand so we call it well Marcus Amida I'll call it MA <laughs> but it is so beautiful and I do believe the brand is I'm not sure if they're Portuguese or Spanish not 100% sure or maybe a mix because there's actually a, it's a duo brand so there's a woman and there's a man and I think the woman is her last name is Marquez and the guy's name is Almeida his last name is Almeida um, but yeah, I really love them. I think the brand kind of came into recognition when they won the LVMH prize. I think like maybe 10, 11 years ago. I can't remember. Didn't quote me yet. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So I just really like this brand, honestly. And this is my first piece from the brand. I've always wanted to get something from the brand, but just wasn't sure which one I wanted. But when I saw this, Especially from the runway, I, I knew I wanted this one, like 100% wanted this. And I was very happy that when I was, when I kind of remembered that I wanted this top from the runway, um, it did already like come out and stock already, so that was perfect. So I got it really quickly. <laughs> they were selling out like quite quickly. I was surprised because I just didn't think a lot of people really, um, well, I think people, people buy into the brands, but it's just not one of those like kind of trendy brands that people sell out so quickly so that's why it was a little you know I was like whoa <laughs> but luckily I wasn't like getting it because it was selling out I just got it because I liked it so yeah that is the first one all right so the next item is very fun I think because I always wanted those Chanel loafers like honestly they are everywhere and I wouldn't say that I'm necessarily influenced to get them, but I just think that they are, they're kind of iconic, honestly. And I've always wanted to get loafers. I always thought about getting the Gucci ones and some other ones from like Todd's, but I just wasn't quite sure which one I wanted or which color way or anything. I just, sometimes I think too much about it. But... Seeing that the Chanel lovers are kind of trendy this season, and honestly, you know the Chanel lovers I'm talking about, the ones with the quilted flap and the turn lock with the big CZ, those are gorgeous, but they're very trendy. And honestly, when I thought about it, I was like, I don't know, you know, like, Will I really want to wear a shoe like that for a very long time? Just because I feel like the, the quilting is so thick that it might not... I like shoes that kind of slim my leg, not make my legs too like wide or big or bulky. Even though in some cases I might be willing to do that, especially with like combat boots and stuff like that. But, you know, I feel like you get more wear out of them when they're a little bit more slim on your feet because you're able to wear with different cuts of pants and like dresses and skirts and so on. So I'm, I'm really like the kind of person that wants to get classic pieces because I feel like 
you know, it's just, you don't want to get by too much into trends. You do not want to be a fashion victim because honestly, that's what a fashion victim is. You're just getting all these trends and you're going to end up not wanting them or wearing them in a few months. And I like to actually invest and think about things that I'm getting and not just kind of get into this fashion victim mode where you're just buying things or reacting to what your influencers are pushing at your face. So I like to put a little bit more thought into what I get and not saying that I might not get into like some trends, but I like trends that actually make sense, that actually are like more classic. So with that said, <laughs> um, like I said, I wanted to get those loafers, but obviously those loafers are sold out everywhere. They are, I don't know, they're just, the resellers are just going nuts. <laughs> they're going crazy. So I kind of looked around at the pre-loved market as well. And like I said, I wanted to find something a little bit more slim fitting. And I saw one on the website that I wanted to reach out to my essay on, but I just wanted to see what the pre-loved market actually had. So I actually went to Real Real. This is actually my first time shopping there. I mean, I don't know why I haven't shopped at the Real Real before. I mean, they, they literally have a store in DC, so I don't know. But um, I ended up just doing it and I found the perfect ones for me that make sense for me for my wardrobe and also I think they're like a little bit more classic so I will show you what I got so there are these um, loafers I'll try to find out what the name of these loafers actually are but they are the ones with the kind of chain embellishments on the side as you can see and it has like a very conservative yet slightly showy CC on the top of it. And I like this too because it's not too much in your face like the trendy ones. And the top part of it is a navy blue and then the sides are black. Um, it's black inside because I have insoles in. Um, I usually because since these are pre-loved I cleaned them with alcohol inside and I put some insoles in and I actually got these a half a size I think a whole size bigger because I I was I thought they were an EU size but actually Italian <laughs> and I got I thought they were like because they are 38.5 Italian and I thought they were 38.5 EU because I'm a 38 EU and 35 37.5 Italian but yeah, <laughs> um, so I ended up just getting half a set. But what I did was I got the insoles and they worked fine for me. So they give good cushion inside. So it fills in the extra space. So those are fine. Yeah, so these are the shoes. And I will do a cutaway with a try on as well. But I love these. These make sense. These are classic. They go very well with my classic flap that have the chain. Like they have the classic black chain here, which is perfect, and also kind of like the the, the logo as well, kind of lends to that. And like I said, I'll do close-ups of this. Um, yeah, so I really just love these. I mean, they're absolutely gorgeous. So, and I got these actually on sale. Like, that's actually rushed to get these because I had them saved, and I was like, you know what? They have a sale on these. These are the cheapest they're probably gonna be because um, the sale price was really good um, I think they were originally like maybe eight or seven and then I ended up getting them for around like three I guess so yeah I really like these I mean no problems here with these and like I said I'll show you a cutaway of these and I really like these and they make more sense to for my wardrobe and for my style to get something a little bit more streamlined and classic like this so yeah all right guys so that is it oh no actually so let me just show you what i'm wearing today i am wearing my frankie shop blazer that i've shown you before just a white 
tee and just a couple necklaces from embellishment and like gold hoop earrings from Zara I believe and yeah that is just my look for today just very chill this is hopefully gonna be a quick video and hopefully you like it so that's pretty much it for today thank you guys so much for watching and all the new subscribers as well thank you guys so much and your wonderful messages too is very heartwarming um yeah and also i know that i have the giveaway that's coming up that is ending soon so if you're new enter in that giveaway and yeah i think i will announce the winner in one of my um obviously i think it ends at the end of this month in october so hopefully somebody wins and somebody's gonna win but yeah <laughs> i'm excited to see who wins and kind of like interacting with that person like trying to find out what color they want as well so if you haven't entered um enter and yeah and also the video where i talk about the giveaway is a chanel unboxing one so look out for that um yeah so that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching and have a great awesome day and i will talk to you soon